The government is spending $10 million to build personal trainer babysitting robots to help watch over children to, quote, influence their behavior and their eating habits. It's called Robots Helping Kids, and they're going to deploy robots into homes and schools to teach your children, and they're going to be socially assistive robots to help your kids learn to read, appreciate physical fitness, and perform physical exercises. Oh, that's right. Just like in uh, 1984, the Orwellian Nightmare <laughs> published in 1949, Big Brother was making people do toe touches. That's right. Slave, bend over, touch your toes. Your Obamacare bill's getting to be too expensive. This on the heels of the new Jibo uh, social robot being uh, apparently built, it's taking orders for these things. Have you seen this? It's the new, it's the world's first socially fun robot. It's the family robot. Get a load of this. Here's their commercial where it looks like just this big Orwellian all-seeing eye that has facial recognition systems built in, and it watches you. Look at Jibo. Yay, use your face scan to read who we are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it has facial recognition scanning systems. Take a picture of us, Jibo. It's always listening to you using voice audio recognition. It's so hard to just pick up your camera and take a family photo. You need Jibo to do it. Yay, the family. Look at that. Just absolute demonic. Dirtbagness. Yes, it's Jibo, the family robot. Yes, Jibo was created by Cynthia, however you pronounce this, this demon's name, um, the director of MIT's Media Lab. Oh, that's great. Let's have a robot in your house. The, our new robot overlords, apparently they're coming. Uh, Jibo, this is real. I mean, it's they're, they're taking orders for Jibo now. The feds are spending $10 million probably to build a Jibo type of a robot that's just always watching you, always listening to you. Facial recognition systems. I mean, the, the facial recognition televisions have been out for years now. They didn't quite catch on just yet, but the you know televisions have facial recognition scanning systems, voice recognition. Um, you know, I mean, just Google's building robot humanoids now. Um, Bill Gates spent a million dollars trying to develop galvanic bracelets to monitor how engaged students are. That's right, your test scores aren't good enough. We need to equip the students with wearable tech to monitor in real time how they're thinking. Hey, wearable tech, it's all the coolest rage. Just let's have a, a direct connection to the government based on your, your vital signs, your personal health statistics. That's right, step right up, slaves. Beta test the Mark of the Beast. That's right, test out the Mark of the Beast prototype, peons. Absolutely incredible. Everybody loves Jibo. Look at this. It's the world's first family robot. It's part of the family. It just always watches you and listens to you. Look at this. It's, it's, it's so hard to just, you know, uh, just pick up your phone. You need Jibo. Hi, Jibo. Oh, how are you, little buddy? Look, it just looks like a big all-seeing demon eye like in... Uh, 2001 a space odyssey and this little demon here is oh it's great everybody needs it the, ch the kids love love jibo too look at this it's reading to her it's watching her while she's you know just in her bedroom there that's great that's fantastic so the government spending 10 million dollars to basically build jibo type of demons to watch over your children literally this is a scene out of 1984 where big brother in the tell through the telescreens were commanding people to exercise. Bend down further. Yeah, that's right. Bend over, Winston Smith. Bend over and take a big one from Big Brother. He loves you. So there you have it. It's time to resist this Orwellian tech. It's time to start reverting back to old-fashioned systems. Newer is not better. If you've seen some of my videos in the past about the Wi-Fi insanity, I got a Wi-Fi water bottle. It helps tell you when you're hydrated. Don't worry about it. Don't just think for yourself. Let your Wi-Fi water bottle just alert you when you need to take a drink. Yes. The Wi-Fi fork counts how long and how many, how many times you pig out from your, from your face to your plate. You plug that back into your Wi-Fi app, and it determines, oh, I'm sorry, you've had 75 fork loads of spaghetti. Oh, you need to just cut that down. Your Obamacare bill is going to be too expensive. But, hey, Jibo likes you. It's your facial recognition family robot. Absolutely incredible. So it must be resisted. We must shame the trendy tech pieces of trash that are accepting this. No, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be a human teaching your kids. It's supposed to be a parent reading to your children. It's supposed to be a parent 
influencing the children's eating habits and exercise habits. Not a freaking robot helper, family-friendly piece of trash. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos, the playlists. Check out my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. It's in paperback on Amazon.com or download the ebook right now. And it's just, you can see how this has all been forecasted. I mean, down to the T. It is time to resist. <laughs>